Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy, and we've got some pretty cool things we want to talk about today. Shells. Now when you think of the word shell, you probably think of either a turtle shell or a seashell, and we're going to talk about just those two things for sure, but also this shell. Now first of all, let's talk about turtle shells. Look at this little cutie, little box turtle in there. You can see him kind of hiding. You know, box turtles are pretty cool because they can actually hinge their shell closed and hide completely in that shell, but this is a live turtle. It's not a fake, I promise you. But when you look at this shell, of course, you all know what a turtle shell looks like. And what's cool is when you look at the top of a shell, you see all these little individual patterns there. Those are called scoots. And what scoots are is they're made out of keratin, the same thing that your hair and fingernails are made out of. But the shell itself is actually made out of bone. But those little scoots cover that bone, of course, to keep the shell safe from predators and injury and things like that. The crazy thing about a turtle shell is that underneath those scoots, there's actually blood vessels and what have you and nerves. And so when you tap on a turtle shell, they can feel that. So you never want to go up to a turtle and knock on its shell. They don't like that. And yeah, they can actually feel it. Now let's talk about this shell. This young lady here is very excited to say hello. And you've met her before, the armadillo. But she too has a shell. And just like the turtle, of course, their shell has this covering on it. And that shell is actually made out of bone as well, which is kind of cool. Now the fur, the hair that you see on her, made out of keratin, same as your hair. But believe it or not, this is actually more of a bone material. Now when you look at the seashells, guess what? Seashells are actually made out of exoskeletons of other animals. So things like mollusks and clams or what have you, that's actually bones that you're looking at. It's called chitin, which is what makes the covering of insects and things like that. So it's kind of cool. But boy, cool animals. And no matter what animal you are, you have a shell, it's a great protection. Of course, this young lady, she rolls into a ball so that shell protects her. The turtle does the same thing, goes inside that shell to protect him. And it's a great way to protect yourself from things like predators, forests, fires and what have you. When this young lady is ready to walk, so we're going to let her move around. And boy, she's just so fun to see moving around like that, walking on those high heels, checking out those shells. Pretty fun in Richmond for to see all these different things. So guys, pretty cool to look out in nature next time you're out and about what animals you can find that have shells. One thing that comes to mind, roly polies. Look for them under a log. They curl up just like that armadillo. Go research what makes up that covering of that roly poly. Good stuff. So guys, until next time, I am Jeff the Nature Guy with Bandy the Armadillo, our beautiful box turtle, and some good looking seashells. See you next time.